There are so many stories for every face of, that we see here, from Nepal, from Somalia, from Syria, from Ethiopia. So many, so many. They come from so many places. The camps where the refugees came from before they came here, uh, they were, there was war-torn countries, there were war-torn areas, there was a lot of people that didn't know how to deal with deaf parents, deaf children, and so the children and the parents were sent to work. We got married in Nepal, we came to America, the love is the same, the experiences are different. Previous to DRA, there was really no services. Uh, deaf refugees would have to stay home wherever that would be, whether it be with parents, whether it be with siblings, and they would be so dependent on them, they would not be able to get out into the community. So what we do is we teach them how to become independent. We foster independence for the future, and we provide classes. We teach classes for them. We teach social skills, life skills. We teach American Sign Language. We even have driving lessons. From the time we arrived, there was not much going on until we got to the Deaf Re Refugee Advocacy. We got to learn sign language. We got to meet other people like ourselves. We had access to something that many people take for granted, such as interpreters. Our lives, of course, improved dramatically. Nepal has their own visual sign language. And yes, we did learn that in the refugee camp. In Bhutan, there was no access to any language because the schools were hearing. Deaf children were not allowed to attend the hearing schools. Just imagine without a language, uh, the children had to totally rely on parents. At most, they might be able to respond to pictures. Uh, the, uh, the refugees had to just follow what others did. There was no language. There was no instruction at that time. We just simply watched my father and we did what he did. I craved education when I was growing up, but it was not afforded me. It was something, Sangeeta, uh, I wish that there were, would have been more support for deaf people where we were from, but now that we're here, we are like sponges. We want to take in as much as we can, be it American Sign Language and English. We have communication now. Imagine a life where you didn't have education. It was very oppressive where we were from. And now in the United States, it's an open book. We can learn how to read, how to write, how to do math. It's very exciting, and it's helpful, very beneficial. The family support, brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, they're thrilled that the deaf refugees can come in here and partake in activities and education and workshops. And when they hear about that and they get back to their families, the, the refugees, they tell the stories about what they learned here, and boy, are the families impressed.